welcome back to my channel. So we did take a little bit of a break and we did a little bit of rebranding and there are some exciting new things to come. So get ready, buckle up, and enjoy some delicious food. Oh, and there's a surprise, so stay tuned. You know, we are going to be doing some fried mushrooms. Well, I should say fried stuffed mushrooms. So they're one of my husband's favorites, and I do recommend that you watch the entire video so you don't miss a step because there are some very important steps that if you miss them, your entire dish is probably ruined. All right, so first off, we have our filling that we're going to be making. So we have a nice little electric mixer here that we're gonna make it in. And we also have some whole baby Bella mushrooms. Why? Because they were on sale. So without any further ado, Let's get cooking. So first off, we need our one block of cream cheese, which I've already put in here. So it's gotta be softened, so you might wanna leave that sit out for a couple hours while it gets nice and soft. It makes it easier to whip. And then we're gonna be adding all of our seasonings. So first off, I have some tarragon and chives, and as always, measurements will be in the description. I have some smoked paprika. I have some black pepper. I have some complete seasoning. Oh, that ain't coming out too well. There we go, there we go. Okay, we have some ground garlic. Some pink salt. Some parsley flakes. And some cayenne pepper. And that all depends on your spice taste. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and whip this all together. And just scrape your sides, make sure you have it all in there. Now we're just gonna let that sit for about 20 minutes so that all of the seasoning just absorbs into that cream cheese. And in the meantime, while we wait, we are going to be judging people. Who's ready for some Am I the A-hole? All right, so we are going to be doing some jit. Okay, I get it, leave me alone. All right, let's see. We have one here on the Reddit post. Am I the a-hole for bringing a generic product versus name brand I was asked to bring. You know, with today's inflation, I'm gonna go ahead and say no. But let's dig in and see why somebody thought they were an a-hole to begin with. This seems so silly to me, but it became such a big deal, I have to ask. Last weekend, my girlfriend's family hosted a barbecue. I was always raised to never show up anywhere empty-handed. Yeah, as were most of us. So I asked my girlfriend's mom what I could bring. She asked that I grab the Cool Whip for a dessert she was making. Easy enough. 
I figured it won't be too hard to find, so I decided to wait until morning of to grab it on my way there. Yeah, has anyone else noticed that the freshness of the products are going down? There's been several times I've gone to a store and ended up buying an expired product, only to realize it was expired when I got home. Well, I get to the store about 20 minutes before the barbecue starts, and they're somehow out of name brand. They did, however, have the store brand's whipping topping. As I didn't have time to go to another grocery store, I just bought the generic brand and headed off. Upon arrival, I hand the bag to my girlfriend's mom. She opens it up, looks inside, and gets a weird look on her face. She asked where the Cool Whip is. I say the store was out, but this is pretty much the same thing, right? She looks a little irritated with me, but just tells me to make myself at home. As I'm putting my stuff down, I can hear her asking her husband to run to the store and grab the Cool Whip. I can't hear the entire conversation, but he must have asked, didn't I bring it? Because then I hear her say, I asked for one thing and he couldn't even deliver. Nothing else was said directly to me but there were a few passive-aggressive remarks throughout the barbecue, such as when her husband arrived, name brand in hand, calling him her hero. When the dessert was served, she again made a comment about how it was made with real cool whip. I didn't want to make a scene, so I took it on the chin. When talking to my girlfriend about it later, she said that her mom was overdramatic, but I should have called her to ask if generic was okay, or I could have gone to a different store. I asked if there was really a difference, and she said she doesn't know. But it was what I was asked to bring, so I should have communicated better. Again, this all sounds so stupid, but am I the a-hole? Well, I'm gonna go with no. You are definitely not the a-hole. They are pretty much the same thing, and if you're in doubt, you can look up the ingredients. If they don't have the one right there, you know, we all have phones now. Just Google it. But ideally, they are pretty much the same thing, so I'm gonna go with you're not the a-hole, but let's see what some other posters have thought. We have Not the A-Hole. My dad is one of those generic name brand good people. My mom and I simply save the name brand containers, clean them, and replace them with the generic versions. Trust me, he hasn't noticed. Also, anyone who is using Cool Whip versus homemade whipped cream doesn't have a leg to stand on when it comes to taste. The disrespect she showed a guest was gross, and I'd be avoid being over there if you don't have to. I agree with that poster. Eh, if you ain't gotta go over there, don't. So, let's see. What else do we have? Cool Whip versus making homemade whipped cream? Cool Whip has added stabilizers. It's not Chantilly cream and doesn't behave the same way in recipes. See, now they're just attacking the mom there. And yeah, she could have made some homemade whipped cream instead of one name brand of something with a lot of preservatives. But our judgment is ruled not the a-hole. While we let that sit for a little bit longer, we are going to go ahead and make our breading mixture, which is just some flour. Excuse you, sir. Some flour, some panko, some grated parm, and I threw in some Cajun seasoning in here, just to give it a nice little kick. And then you're going to want your buttermilk. So we're just going to set that off to the side. 
And like always, the description will have all the measurements you need. So we're going to set that off to the side and let this become room temperature while we wait on the cream cheese to absorb that lovely seasoning. All right, well, we only have a little bit of time left, so now is the perfect time to start preparing our mushrooms. So right here we have the whole mushrooms. So what we want to do is just pop out the stem so we have just the caps. So we're going to do that for all of our nice little mushrooms. Little fungus. They're going to be fun to eat too. All right. See, they just pop right out. Easy peasy. You want to get it towards the base here and just pop. See? Pop. Now, if you don't use all of your mushrooms with the filling, that's fine. You can use the mushrooms in a salad, on a pizza, in a spaghetti, an alfredo, a mushroom gravy, any number of things you can use for mushrooms. So, I'm just going to be prepping a few of these here. The reason I have so many is because they were on sale and we do eat quite a few mushrooms in our house. So I'm going to be saving some of these for some pizza. So you guys might get more than one video this week or I just might wait and post the pizza video on Sunday. So, I think this right here should be about enough, but just in case, I won't put those away yet. So, what you want to do is take a spoon, and you want to use just the back of the spoon here, get some filling on there, and you're going to take your mushroom and just push that filling down in there. So, just make sure it is nice and in there and you can use the spoon to smooth it out there we go and we're in so just Right, now that our mushrooms are filled, we can bread them. What we want to do is grab a container that we're going to be able to put these into that'll fit in your freezer. Because we're going to want to freeze them overnight. Because if you don't freeze them, they're just going to fall apart. They won't be stuffed anymore. It'll just come all over the place in your oil and so if you freeze them then it kind of holds it together so when you do go to fry them then they're not going to go all over. Alrighty. Hey, I don't know. Okay. Losing my mind over here but that's okay. So we have our breading mixture and we have our milk. So what you're going to do is just take a little mushroom. See my little mushroom? We're gonna give it a nice little bath. Wee! Wee! And we're gonna. Oh, excuse you, sirs! They don't like me talking to myself, apparently. And then we're just gonna dump it in here, cover it up, cover it up, give it a little shimmy shake. Little shimmy shimmy. And try not to get your fingerprints all that out. Okay. And set that to the side. And we're gonna do it again. I'm just gonna drown them. I'm allowed to talk to myself. 
and then we're gonna dunk it in here and we're gonna cover it up cover it up smother it Rawr. the fun guy has been smothered alrighty with these that it's kind of one of those serve immediately things so when we're ready to cook these I'll show you how to make the dip that goes with it all right and that is the start of fried mushrooms but I think we have time for one more am I the a-hole Am I the a-hole for accepting a part in a play even though my boyfriend doesn't approve? I, 16 female, have been part of my school's theater company since I was in middle school. Theater means a lot to me and it's given me a community of silly, talented, amazing people that make up my core friend group. While they would get all the leads for each show, both at our school and local community theaters, I never got anything higher than an ensemble part or a part with a few lines. And it always hurt me a lot because I would feel excluded. I've never let myself feel too discouraged by this and I've been able to do a lot of behind the scenes stuff for shows I'm not a huge part of, like building sets, making props, and even directing. This would always be super fun, but never as fun as being on stage and being a part of all the inside jokes my other friends would bring up outside of rehearsals. And this only added to me feeling excluded. Anyway, me and my friends all auditioned for a local team production, A Little Shop of Horrors with four of us, including me, all auditioning for Audrey. We audition and I think I do pretty well, but part of me knows I won't get the part. Well, yesterday the cast list came out and to my surprise, I got Audrey. Good for you, girl. I'm so excited and still buzzing over the fact that I finally have a lead in one of my dream roles, no less. I'm super proud for you, honey. All of my friends were extremely supportive and there was no tension among any of us over the results of the cast list. So I accepted the part right away before dancing around my room and going out for ice cream with all my friends. When I got back, I texted my boyfriend of a year, 17 Mel about the news, expecting congratulations and excitement since he knows how big of a deal finally getting a lead is for me. But instead, he told me I should reject the part because I'd have to kiss the guy playing Seymour. And also generally act romantically around him on stage and that makes him uncomfortable. The guy playing Seymour is one of my close friends I've known since seventh grade, and our relationship has always been purely platonic. He also has a boyfriend of his own. I can see how my boyfriend would be uncomfortable since I'd be acting romantically with someone who isn't him, and a gay guy no less, so... Anyway, let's keep reading. 
and with someone I'm pretty close to. I told him I already accepted my part and he left me on red and I don't really know how I'm feeling at the moment. I'm hurt because he hasn't congratulated me, but I feel bad for potentially hurting him and accepting the part without talking to him about how it would affect our relationship. Am I the a-hole? Well, I'm gonna go with not the a-hole in my opinion. Yes, it's good to set boundaries with your significant other and understand what makes someone comfortable and uncomfortable in a relationship, but there's also compromise where individuals should be supportive of one another. In this case, her best friend, who is a guy, has a boyfriend and clearly is only interested in something platonic with his friend. It makes me wonder what insecurities her boyfriend has if he's threatened by an individual who already has a boyfriend. He doesn't want a girlfriend. He has a boyfriend. So I'm going to go with not the a-hole, although good open communication is a key. I'm going to go with he's probably not being an a-hole either. He's probably a little offended, a little hurt. Maybe he has some insecurities that need to be worked through. If that's something that people are interested in and my camera is telling me no for some reason, why are you shaking your head at me? You, you can see the camera doing this. It just has a mind of its own. So, okay camera, I gotcha. We're going to carry on. I don't care what your opinion is because you're a technology. Alrighty. So why don't you guys give your thoughts in the comments. My camera is really mad at me today. Sir. Sir, I am talking to you. Oh, okay, yes. You. Yes. Thank you. Feel free to leave your comments and suggestions, or your suggestions and comments in the comment section. And, as and we are back. So before we take our mushrooms out of the freezer, we're going to go ahead and make up the dipping sauce. So let's go ahead and begin that. All right. The measurements will be down in the description. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our mayonnaise. And then we have our gray poupon mustard. We have horseradish. And we have vinegar. And we're just gonna give that a good mixing. While you're making this, you go ahead and get your oil to temp. And then we're just gonna stick this in the fridge until we're ready to serve the mushrooms. Okay, once your oil is to temperature, go ahead and take your mushrooms out of the freezer. And then we're just going to drop them in. Now that our mushrooms are done, just 
add a little bit of sugar into your dipping sauce and mix that in. And then go ahead and put it into a dish of your choosing. and serve it with your mushrooms. And they are ready to enjoy. And go make your own. And as always, happy cooking and don't forget to 